I'm Maverick Hayes, and I'm glad you clicked on this video. Normally, I'm traveling to check out fun and unique attractions. This video is going to be a little bit different as my original plans got rained out again. So, I decided to use a game spinner to determine which direction to point my car so I can explore where I end up. This is going to be a unique adventure, and you will want to watch it in full. Well, that's gotta be lucky. It's not all sevens, but all fives. Okay, so you can see I'm paying $3.97 a gallon here. The car is fully satisfied. Where are we at with miles here? We can find out where we will start this journey and where it will end. So that's the uh, mileage, 88,608 miles right now. Usually I'll give a preview of what's to come in my videos, but in this one, I have no idea. Your guess is as good as mine. We'll find out together with the old spinner here. This will be, uh, North right here, here is the south, east, and west. Do you remember in school how you might have learned which way is north, south, east, or west? One of the uh, things I remember a teacher telling me was, it goes, never eat sour wheat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, okay, anyways. I wonder if that teacher actually had a degree now that I think of it. Hmm, okay, so. Let's see here. Never eat sour or wheat. We are going to go... Oh, uh, which way? That's right on this side. We are going to go west. All right, so I will point us going west, which it looks like from here, we will take Highway 23. We will take that for 10 miles, and we are starting off at 88,608 miles. Let's see where we end up. Let's see what's out there. Let's see what kind of trouble I can get into. No, you don't want to turn this video off. We don't know how it's going to end. Stay tuned. I will do each spin in 10 mile increments. And if we end up nowhere, we'll spin again and go another 10 miles. And we'll just keep doing that until we find something. So I'm not going to actually film the entire 10 miles here because I can tell you on this highway, it is just highway in a very rural area. In case you're curious right now, the odometer says 88,611. So we've got a few more miles to go as we are looking for 88,618. And then I will pull the car over. I will get out of the car. We'll take a look at where we are at and spin again if it's nowhere fun. And I'll tell you, if the spinner points us back east to where we just came from by the quick trip, Whoops, a little bump there. Um, this video can get very uh, monotonous and a lot of deja vu on it. Have you checked out my website yet? If you haven't, do me a favor, just check it out. You can learn a little bit more about me. And I also offer cameos as well. You can um, register to do a cameo if you've got a anniversary coming up. I'm sorry about the bumps here. Or if you've got a birthday that you'd like to wish somebody a happy birthday, or if you just want me to send a message to somebody, I will offer them in just audio or video as well. Uh, being a YouTuber, I don't know why anybody would want just audio, but that option is there. It's at maverickhaze.com. If I can offer that to you, I'd love to do it. And it's just a small, small fee, but it doesn't mean that you'll get cut out on time where it's only going to be a minute long, the message, or anything like that. We'll just make it a fun, natural message for you and whoever you'd like me to send it to otherwise. Uh, we're in graduation season as well, so if you'd like me to wish somebody in your family uh, or a friend a happy graduation, or if they didn't quite make it, we can always make fun of them and say, what happened? Now you got to do it all over again. Maybe I'll do that one for free, right? So anyways, maverickhaze.com. You'll see all kinds of neat things there. Uh, and um, as I build this channel, I'm also on TikTok for the miniature videos. And of course, Facebook and Instagram. You'll have to see the uh, cool graphic here because unfortunately they all have like different names to uh, uh, get you there. Please feel free to comment, offer uh, any suggestions, or if you've ever done anything like this in the past, I'd love to hear about it as well. And again, maverickhaze.com. Okay, so we are coming up to the end of the road here as we are heading 
west. So what we could do is take 23, which is what I'm on, south or 33 west because it dead ends over there. You'll see a little bit of the uh, road right there. But I know it just dead ends into like a little neighborhood subdivision. So what I will do, I know it says 23 south and 33 west. So we will just stay on 33 going west for three more miles. And let's see where that puts us in three miles and what might be there that we can check out. And then we'll spin the dial again to see where we go next. And maybe I should just make the rule right now. If it points us back east, the direction we just came, I think it's fair to just spin again, don't you? That would make the most sense. Otherwise, we'll just do this trip back and forth the exact same route. As you can see, I am slowly approaching 88,618 miles, and that is our magic number. And I will stop within the 18. Is this ever going to change 18 or are we stuck on 17? There we go. All right. <laughs> well, that was the longest mile, wasn't it? All right. So let's see. What do we have in this area? I can tell you that we are approaching a town called Reedsburg, Wisconsin. We are just outside of Reedsburg, and I am going to pull off the road here. There we go. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at where I am here. We'll get the camera off me here in a second and point it around. Sorry about the wind if it's hitting the microphone funny. All right, let's uh, get back in the car. Hey, this is a great way to spend an afternoon and we'll hold this west we need the odometer this time to say 88,628 well welcome to the modest town of Reedsburg Wisconsin a little over 9,000 people out here Welcome to Lavelle, Wisconsin. 388 people. Big town. Really? Not much here, huh? We may be spinning this dial again. But right now we are in Lavelle and it's time to spin again. I just pulled off the side of the road because it is a uh, pretty quick moving highway. The speed limit has dropped, but um, people are not paying attention to the reduction of speed and they still seem to be doing about 55 or 60. All right, here's the uh, view of where I'm sitting at by the post office here. Uh, just so you know, the fire danger is high today, so. <laughs> and look at what I see next to the uh, fire danger sign, okay? You see the uh, fire danger sign right over there, right? And can you see what the trailer says? Unfortunately, the camera will not zoom in anymore. Lavelle fireworks. That's funny, but I don't think Smokey the Bear is amused. Time to spin. All right, so it'll be north, west, or south. We don't want to go east because we just came from there. We want to keep it uh, interesting, and we don't want to be repetitive. So if it says east, I'll spin again. If it says north, west, or south, then we will head that direction for 10 miles. Here we go. From this angle, it looks to me like it's just a little on the west. We will continue going west. Okay, so 10 miles, continuing our journey west. That will take us to 88,638 miles. Back to the rain, kind of been hit or miss showers. Not gonna stand out here too long because of the rain. A uh, nice little rock formation here. I see one also across the street over here. Give you a quick view here. Welcome to nowhere. We are in the middle of nowhere, or as some might call it, Bumble. Man, eh, never mind. Okay, so let's uh, take a look here at the spinner and see if we are going to go north, south, or continue our journey west. We won't do east because we've already been there. East, spin again. South, all right, south it is. 
we will take this road, Highway 33, to the next road that will intersect a highway that goes north and south. The problem out here, though, is it's such a rural part of Wisconsin. I just was not close enough to Madison or Milwaukee or Green Bay. So we didn't really get a fair starting point because there's just so much of nothing. <laughs> so let's see where we end up here. We should have a highway coming up shortly that will give us the option to go south, which is what we want to do. Getting off of 33 West, we are going to take 80 South. Oh, and by the way, um, let me just show you where we're at, where we are on the odometer here. We are so far in the middle of nowhere in Wisconsin that I don't even see cows anymore. Today's video is brought to you by a game spinner that's telling us which direction we should be going. Every 10 miles, I uh, pull off the side of the road and we are going south right now. That's the direction the spinner stopped on last. So I think what we'll do is I will pull over, we'll spin it just for giggles to see where it says we should go. We'll take a look at Google on the map. We'll see what the nearest town is and see if it's worth driving to it. If not, then I will have to come up with that plan B. But don't worry because there's all kinds of crazy ideas in my head. Back to the spinner. So we don't want north this time because we're coming from the north. Right on the line feel like we've been doing a lot of West. All right, let's take a look at the uh, phone here and see what uh, Google Maps shows as far as going West. Right by my thumb there, you'll see the blue dot. That's where we are. And we are in between the town of Hillsboro, where we just uh, came out of Hillsboro there. Uh, there's absolutely nothing out here. So the spinner did not work out to my advantage today. I think the spinner just decided to play with me and help me burn some of the new gas. So right now, let's just start heading back. I found a different route back on Google, so it's got me passing the mouse, and we will take that back and maybe check out some of the scenery since the spinner failed us today. Well, maybe there's something to the spinner. Look at where it brought us. The spinner knew. <laughs> Should we do a brewski? Google is just as cruel to me as the spinner today because it had me going back on different, a uh, couple of different county roads that I've been driving down and it brought me back to the town of Waniwak, which we cut through. So I'm just on the other side of Waniwak and I saw this neat creek going through a farm area. And then over here, some nice rock formations on the side of the road. So a lot of neat things over here in Wisconsin. Just some natural beauty that uh, most of the time we just kind of pass as we're driving and maybe not even paying attention to. So I thought I'd stop and take a look at this. Okay, we've seen it. Time to go. There was something of interest I want to check out just down the road. The Splash Water Park. It's for registered guests only, and all others will be prosecuted. <laughs> Let's see if they really mean that or not. I mean, the gate is open. It looks like it's a uh, campground back here. And uh, their idea of a water park and I guess mine are two different things. Nice little setup back here. If this uh, little dirt road is too long to take all the way through, we could just cut through this way, right? Oh, goodness. Maybe I should have brought the truck today. Cut through on their nice green grass. Well, it's safe to say that nobody came here or prosecuted me. 
it's definitely farm country over here. Look at all these guys running. I was just coming to say hello. They're all scattering on the side of the road here. Bunch of animals. They're all looking at me. So I thought I'd come and say hello, but I don't think they're allowed to talk to strangers or visitors, so I'll keep it moving. Well, I'm continuing the drive here as the uh, game spinner really put me all over the place. Looking at the odometer here, I'm at uh, 88,700, almost five miles. So that puts me at roughly 96, 97 miles from when I started this whole journey <laughs> of uh, letting the spinner tell me which direction to go. I do have a plan B. Hang on for that. Nope, no plan B. When I recorded the video with this, the little troublemaker, the uh, game spinner, it was on Sunday afternoon here in Wisconsin. So when I got to the place that I planned on going, two things happened. First, they're closed. I'm not going to say who because I will put them in a future video, which is going to be a lot of fun. Second of all, I had one battery with me, I know. I know, I've got three batteries in the uh, entire case, and I did not bring them all. That was completely my fault. I had the one battery in the camera, and it basically went. But it didn't matter, because the place I went to was closed anyways. And that, shh, is a secret. Because I will have that in a future video. On. That's going to be a fun one, so I, I don't want to give that away. My original plans, the plan A, if you will, in that video, rained out. I had to move it. So technically the video was plan B, and then my plan C was closed, and of course I ran out of battery juice, so my plan C will come up in a future video. So with all of that being said, if you found this video to be interesting, do me a favor and subscribe and give it a like. I do have my next shoot scheduled, and the weather is looking perfect for that. You will see me on the next one, and I promise the next one will be a good one.